And we're back! Welcome back! <laughs> and that's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is! What happened? It was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Quite <laughs> Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... <laughs> it's true, Shinra, for manipulating honest folks. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. But why come back now? To finish what he started. After five years, doing who knows what. Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Genova at his side. After Mama's boy. Years, not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. It's a freak of nature. Excuse me. <clears throat> Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. <clears throat> wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah, let's just call it a night. No amount of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? <laughs> uh, oh no, you don't. That bed's mine. <laughs> Dreams. See you tomorrow. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? Was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Those are some did, small wonder. blankets. Why? Why? All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... Maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. You up? Welcome back to part two of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. 
after that weird installment thing at the end of chapter one, I'm guessing. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Ooh. I have a summon. Oh. Hmm. You know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Jazz. Whoa, calm. The town of calm looks really pretty. Damn, look at that. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. <laughs> Here, look. What? My scar. That proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him, though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. Damn cloud. Is there some traversal on the rooftops? Hmm. Well, <sighs> freaking jazz sounds crazy.
I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. <sighs> I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. That, that was some blow. Can I go downstairs? Pardon me, sir, but you don't look very well. An old war wound acting up, perhaps? If so, I can certainly empathize. I myself fought for the company once upon a time. And my bodies never let me forget it. <laughs> okay. Can I leave? Nah. Alright. We'll go to bed. Get this unknown journey started. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Night. Tomorrow is another day. <laughs> Those beds are really low to the floor. Everybody got pancakes without me. What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? You can now play the card game Queen's Blood, find other players denoted by the okay around the world and challenge them to matches should you win they will often give you new cards to add to your cl is this like triple triad from final fantasy 8 defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns you can also build and edit decks by selecting Ooh. yes let's learn let's see this Whoa. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of these three lanes that span from left to right. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. An emerald pawn? Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. A yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power, while the positions... Okay, let's see. Uh, 
Oh, so that's what the pawns mean? Okay. As you now have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card. I won? So it's kind of like Triple Triad? Okay... I'm gonna have to learn how to play this very well. It's like... Chess and Triple Triad. Seems very interesting. So how do I look at my deck? Could get fun. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of... Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, <laughs> you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. 
Sound advice. Adjust your party's gear by accessing. Yep, Perhaps yep, yep. a trip to the arms dealer is in order. Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Of my folios? Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? Oh. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. It was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yay! Oh, uh, if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Rook's got a backbone. <laughs> Call him a Rook. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need, and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. What the hell is a folio? What does that mean? You want to play this game? What do you want? Don't scare me like that! You... You don't want to play Queen's Blood, do you? I was hoping that... Oh, what am I thinking? You look like you'd murder me! Oh, God, this is too much! I think I'm gonna throw up! Don't give me that look! It's perfectly healthy for adults to cry, too, you know! <laughs> People call me crybaby dead! What the because fuck? The more tears I shed, the better I get at Queen's Blood! <laughs> Please play around with me. Uh. I'm just gonna go with this. Let's see how we do. If you don't like some or any of the cards you have drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. As you cannot play high rank cards right away. It is often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you early on. I'll keep that one, but that... And maybe... Yeah. Crap, 
I think I screwed myself over. Maybe I didn't. Five, five, two. Oh, thank God I won. Relieve some stress. Speaking of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down, too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Freaking weirdo. Chocobo. Talking about Aerith? Let's go up this way. Is it, yep, it's in here. What's up, dude? Silva Carsa's weapons. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, Mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby'll sing. If you like, I could show you. Additional weapon skills by upgrade weapons. Reducing your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills, as well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Okay, from the upgrade weapon screen, you can enhance a weapon and see its stats. Here you can see your party's current equipment, their weapon, their weapon levels, and the amount of skill points needed to reach the next level. Select Cloud's Buster Sword. A weapon's attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Is this like the remake? As you increase your weapon level, you will learn more skills and unlock more nodes in which to set them. In addition to the upgrade weapons screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to the materia and equipment screen, selecting a character, and pressing triangle to set materia. Hmm. Choose how to auto optimize your hmm. See what I tell you that girl is singing and she's got the voice of an angel. Talk about my Just sword. Make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. Hmm. 
Don't have enough. And I can't sell anything either. You take care of that weapon now. Yep, just like the remake. Okay. And we already upgraded our weapon, so I think we should be good, right? Yeah, it's got it on there. Like anything's over here. Cool off with some chocolate ice cream. Our ice cream is made with fresh milk straight from the local farms. Topped with a generous helping of Lhasa nuts. Ooh, that sounds good. This is so different from Midgar. Hello and welcome to my humble shop. What you got? I think I already have one. I think I have all the. Ooh, do I have the steel? No, I don't. Oh, should I buy it? And booster packs. I'm gonna buy the steel materia. And I think. What does this have? Toxie Rat, Devil Rider, Flan. This one's got some good ones. Okay. Just in case. Hope to see you again soon. Eris? Ah, finally decided to get up. Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Sure. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I'll meet you in front of the tower, okay? Cloud's action affects his relationship with his allies and the strength of these bonds can alter pushes of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud as indicated by symbols such as a smiley face and a really happy face. Hey there, welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. Spend skill points at Magnata Books, locations, and automats to augment your party's folios. Thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Okay, let's see what this is. Whoa, the orange skill course can be unlocked by spending skill points. Move the cursor over a skill course to see what it does. For now, move the skill course to the upper left. Firework blade. Oh. Okay. As you unlock skill cores, adjacent cores become available in turn. You are free to choose which skill cores to unlock and when. Adapting a character's strengths to suit your playstyle. Oh, that's cool. And that's about all we can do for now. 
But we haven't even skimmed the surface, believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Interesting. Hold well, on, let, let me see. Firework blade, ranged blade. Max HP up. This kind of reminds me, dare I say it, like the like the mix of uh, FF7's remakes level up thing and the sphere grid from Final Fantasy X. Almost. Interesting. See you around. Um, I should upgrade my boy. Resource HP when activating vengeance mode increases counter spin potency. Everybody's got their thing. Um. When I grow up, I'm gonna be. You know, I thought Carl. What a glorious wall, what? keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze at it all day. Oh, and I just broke Excuse it. Excuse me. That was my barricade. You just destroyed. <laughs> oh, come to admire the Bailey. It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. <laughs> oh. I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Oh Don't God. Don't you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Okay, let's do it. You now own a card that can lower the power of or enfeeble other cards. When a card's power is reduced to zero, it is destroyed, and the position it was occupying becomes empty again. Mmm. Maybe that'll be okay.
Gonna make it a three up there. Here we go. No snap, I might lose. can't do anything ah uh, I got screwed let's do a rematch Yeah, this is fine. Oof. Hell yeah. I can block my opponent like this. Ah. And then that's it. I ain't won. Oh, yeah. Ooh, whoa. Impossible. 
How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? In cloud strife. Deep down, Justice. I, knew. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe. But even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. <laughs> Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. It's okay, lady. Calm down. I can swim? Oh my god. That's interesting. I did not know I can do that. I have no clue where I'm going. Two antidotes. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings. Look who it is. You up already? Drinking already? <laughs> no, sir. Not gonna have a drop till Seventh Heaven's back up and running. First one's on me, okay? Now that's what I'm talking about. Gotta remember to order some top shelf stuff in that case. <laughs> Hell yeah. A long road ahead of us. Better make sure you're prepped for the journey. Thank you, Barrett. Welcome. New around here, I take it? Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Where? How do I get to Aerith? Oh. Morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. <laughs> Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Yeah. The place I made that promise to you. You remember the dress I wore? It was one of my favorites. Uh, the light blue one? With a bit of green in there? She has sandals yeah. too. This is such a quiet, peaceful town. Okay. This way? Did, wasn't I just up here? Oh, it's up here. That's right. What's that? Damn. We're gonna climb the clock tower? I should have went to talk to Red 13 Let's first. Get started then, shall we? Oh, oh god. Can I go back out? Hold on. Oh you bitch. <laughs> uh, excuse me, lady. Gars, this away. Should be, yeah. That's what it looks like. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. What? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. <laughs> she say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. <laughs> I should have talked to Red 13. Just for me. Go! 
Really? Here in calm? 80, 80. You know the drill. Fight these terrorists. <laughs> <laughs> I can run really slowly, I guess. Demand cloud. Come on. Follow me. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back now. Hey, you. Seen anyone acting suspicious? Why is it always us? May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mentioned, I think I'm surprised these helicopters can't see us sneaking around. Giving them tips, and then they're like, "Nah, man, you ain't the you ain't the guy." They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. Maybe you should have waited to talk to Aerith. I didn't know this was gonna progress the story. I still gotta talk to that other guy, or the other card player, and I had to talk to Red 13. He's gonna hate me now. He's gonna be like, Cloud, you didn't fix my equipment. What the hell? Yeah, but I well, did. I tried. Much further. Don't Stay hate me. Toes. Be safe. Is that a, it's the cell phone? It's a transmuter. Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. What? You'll get more use out of it than me. Who are you, Broden? I 
are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. Yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Who is this guy? From the item transmitter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmitter chips found throughout the world, or improve your craftsmanship? God damn, game! That dude is like coffin. Item transmitter. Okay. These are the materials and accessories amount. Necessary amounts for the selected item. Here you can see the requirements for transmitting a potion. I could. Oh, Sage Planet's Blessing. Transmitting an item for the first time grants XP, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. Transmit a potion by selecting it from the list and holding X. Though transmutation. Through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found in the field or in chests and gained through combat. There are also items that can only be obtained by... It gives... This thing is pretty much like... So you can grind, but in a good way? So you can save money? I'm sorry, Red 13. Oh, God. Aerith, what the hell? Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Hopefully. Sorry we're late. For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? On a date. Kind of. Oh my god. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. God damn it, Aerith. <laughs> Got that? Uh, oh. <laughs> Let's move. Uh, I love Red Thirteen. Okay, Baron. Dick, dickhead. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Damn. I'm gonna have to come back so I can face off that other card player. I should have known going to Aerith would have probably progressed the story. I'm a gamer! I should know these things! It is really pretty. It that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Chocobo. Oh, come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. 
Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. <laughs> I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. No. Guess not. Let's go. And there it was. The first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? Oh my god. Adjust your battle party from the combat settings screen in the main menu. Create up to three present parties to swap between. No way! Conspirator. <laughs> no. I want to know what this is. Like, what the hell was that? Retrotine, Retrotine, and Aerith. That is a good combo. And Aerith and Tifa. Yeah, I guess that's good for now until I get the others, the other party members. But you know what? I think I'm going to call it. We're probably going to be adventuring in the next video, so hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you already haven't, and we'll see you on the next one. Adios.